When creating music, there are very few things that are used more than the thing that I'm going to talk about in this video. All music really is, is a list of devices and methods that are used to create a particular effect. And one of the most important ones that you can ever really understand is something called an ostinato. An ostinato is just a continuously repeated musical phrase or rhythm, which is pretty vague, but really all it means is that if you are repeating something, then you are playing an ostinato. Now, the way that I would break down how an ostinato is used is in two ways. Firstly, you have a melodic ostinato and secondly you have a harmonic ostinato and most music actually uses both of these for example in pop songs the idea of the four chord sequence repeats over and over again so i would consider that to be a harmonic ostinato an example of a melodic ostinato can be pretty much anything but i'll give you the example bad romance by lady gaga i don't know why that's the first thing that came to my head i don't know if i should be worried about that anyway the pattern goes and then it repeats. So I would consider that to be a melodic ostinato because it repeats lots of times and it's one melodic phrase. And the thing is, most music does this because if it didn't, we wouldn't like it. And we wouldn't like it because as humans, in music, we like familiarity. If you hear something just once and then it moves on to something else, you're probably not going to have chance to digest what's actually going on. Whereas when you hear a musical phrase and then you hear the same thing again, you know what to expect. So it feels kind of comfortable. And this is why it's such a great trick for making music because a lot of people just overthink what they're trying to create when really all you need to do is come up with a couple of notes and repeat them and here's some examples of songs that do exactly that so firstly we have I Gurney by Einaudi and that is literally doing both so you have a chord structure that repeats which is this and then it just repeats again and at the same time you have a melody that is very very simple that repeats over and over again, just tweaking it slightly each time. So together, you get something like this. So it's just a repeating pattern that happens over and over again. And it sounds great. Very simple. The melody has three notes that are just messed with each time. And it's got three chords that don't move very much. The next song is Baba O'Reilly by The Who. And this song has two kind of ostinatos happening. You've got the right hand doing this. And then you've got a chord structure in the left hand that goes... Which is probably one of the most iconic chord structures there is. And then there's more obvious ones like Beat It by Michael Jackson. That's a set of notes that just repeats over and over again. Michael Jackson actually did that with most of his songs. An even more obvious one is probably Billie Jean. Another iconic ostinato bass line is Living on a Prayer. Another example is the James Bond theme. This also is kind of a combination of the two. You've got this melody. And it kind of incorporates the chords as well. And because this melody is also just three notes and then goes back down again, it's super easy to take that melody and do all sorts with it, which is why you end up with all these James Bond songs that seemingly sound and have the same vibe, yet they're different from each other, like Adele's. And you've got Billie Eilish's No Time To Die, which uses this melody as part of the chord structure. The list goes absolutely on and on. So what's the point? Well, usually people overcomplicate making music and all you need to do is come up with a few notes in a scale and then you can make a great song. And I'm going to prove it to you. So firstly, I'm going to use the scale of C major because that's the easiest one to do on the piano and that's just using all of the white notes. 
I'm going to pick a couple of those notes. Then we just need a chord sequence to go with it. So I'm going to find some chords that I like only using the white notes because we're still using the scale of C major. So something like... And then maybe we can build on that. So instead of doing this, I can just do the bass notes or something like that in the next section. And then maybe in the right hand with the melody, I can add some of the chord notes as well. And you can play around with how you play that chord and melody as much as you want. You could end up with something like this. Or you could write a song with a strong bass line and come up with that first. The idea of an ostinato is also used quite a lot in film music to create a certain feeling, so more mystery or anticipation or wonder. Because really, the more you repeat a pattern, the more you intensify a certain emotion. So if I wanted to create a sense of longing, let's say, all I need to do is create the emotion and then use the ostinato to really intensify it. Ostinatos are a very powerful tool in order to create music and also to simplify creating music because it's easy to get stuck in thinking you have to constantly come up with new ideas when really you can just embellish the ideas that you already have and repeat them. Another device that you can use to really intensify your music is something called a pedal note and in this video I explain exactly what that is so if you are interested in that head on through and I will see you there.